In this presentation, we'll go over the features of SciGen Sci Capture and how it can be used to automatically harvest and import JPEG images um, taken with GPS-enabled cameras. Uh, we'll focus on the Ricoh 500 and 700 SE cameras and show you how we can actually take those images, extract the data, and then post them into SharePoint and use Esri Map it to plot, plot out the, uh, the location of the images. So the Ricoh 500 and 700 SE cameras are GPS ready cameras with onboard software that lets you not only um, uh, automatically identify the location in which you snap the picture but also enter additional information. There's all types of applications for these cameras everything from law enforcement to um, companies that do cell phone tower maintenance to assessors offices and the list just goes on and on. So when you snap a picture with the camera it actually um, embeds the coordinates within the image Okay. And it also can embed additional information in, into the picture. So we're talking about uh, focal length, date and time. Um, the Ricoh has the ability to build custom fields that you can actually enter information from drop downs um, and hand type fields as well. So the, these additional fields can be built um, through some software that can build custom templates and it embeds all that information into the JPEG picture. It also has the ability to take pictures of barcodes and automatically embed that information into the picture as well. So any organization that takes a ton of pictures um, has many challenges associated with managing those. If you've got a large volume of images, you need to share them and distribute them. Perhaps you want to be able to search by information that's contained or um, locations that are associated with those images. Um, as well, you need a viewing and comparison tool to be able to view the images, extract the data, and then be able to search for them and view them in an appropriate manner. So what SciGen brings to the table um, is we have the ability to import either through a manual process or an automated process uh, those images, pull them in, extract all the information, including the, uh, the, the geographic uh, location, and then we can migrate that to 46 different document management or content management systems. We can also take that data and just throw it into a database. So if you're using ArcGIS or uh, one of the other Esri products, you have the ability to uh, then take that information, geocode it, and post it into a map so you can analyze the data. Okay. So in a nutshell, um, you have the ability not only to bring in images from cameras, but also if you've got a pre-existing repository of tens of thousands of images, you can actually point our product at that folder structure. We'll import all the images, extract the data, process them, and then post them based on rules to uh, any of the back-end systems that we support. Okay. Now, in January, uh, SciGen is actually going to release uh, SciCapture 4.0, and we've actually uh, enhanced the integration with not only the Ricoh cameras, but just about any other GPS camera or camera that's on the market today. Uh, and one of the things that we've done is we always try and make configuration uh, much easier, you know, and the way we do that with our product is through what we call template configuration. Uh, no pun intended, but uh, also referred to as point-and-shoot configuration. So I can actually choose my Rico camera field tag template, point it at an image, and it'll automatically um, extract any custom fields that have been configured with the camera software. So it makes that whole uh, linking of the camera to our software very simple, very easy, all through a, a real simple template process. Now, if you look at uh, some of the enhancements we've done about the custom tags that hold information within the image, uh, we've actually added IPTC tag support, which is a brand new tagging format. We still support EXIF tags, and once again, not only in the Ricoh, but in just about any other camera or, or any other EXIF tag format that houses information within a JPEG image. Okay. Now, during the demo, I'll show you this, but, but just to give you a heads up on, on what we can do, and just to put it in context, the demo that I'm going to show you is for a, a police gang task force, where we're going to import images, 
automatically extract gang information. Okay, and that can be done either through an interactive process or an automated process where site capture can run on a server and automatically ingest those images as they're uploaded. Okay, we also offer the ability to do quality assurance. So you'll see within our quality assurance module, uh, we give a nice pretty spreadsheet representation with a row for each picture with all the data. In this case, we've got information about the picture as well as the latitude and longitude. And there's different things we can do here. We can have drop downs if you want a field that maybe the user interactively enters. Um, as well, we can flag images for review if certain fields are left blanked or the data doesn't quite look right. We've also got the ability to uh, crop um, and add uh, additional images with the crops. So in this particular example, if you wanted to get rid of uh, you know, all the fluff around the graffiti image and just grab the graffiti and post it as a secondary image, you can do that as well with the product and it makes it very easy utilizing these tools to reproduce these, uh, these cropped images. Okay. Um, we've also got some image processing, so if you want to do some, um, some brightness and contrast tweaking, maybe you want to sharpen the picture, do some, uh, some different manipulation, you can do that through the product as well. Okay. This is a short list of the products that we support um, from an enterprise content management system perspective. Just about everything on the market, including SharePoint 2010. Uh, we also support generic output, so if you want to send the data to a database or a spreadsheet. Okay, so now that we've gone through the presentation portion, let's go ahead and take a peek at uh, the application and how it actually works. So this is a SciGen uh, site capture interface. As I mentioned, you can run the product either interactively or you can run it automatically on a server where it just watches a hot folder and picks up any pictures that are dropped into those folders. For this demo, I'll go ahead and put this in context. This is a uh, gang task force example. We're going to go ahead and uh, import some uh, graffiti images that have been taken by an officer. We'll automatically extract the information, post it into SharePoint, and then we'll use Esri's Map It tool to go ahead and present that data um, so we can analyze it. So with SciCapture, I'm going to go ahead and kick off my capture process. And you can see that I've already got a template built for this particular um, uh, workflow. And we'll go ahead and, uh, and pick this uh, ESRI workflow. And the product's going to pop me in here. I'm going to tell them I'm looking for JPEG images. We'll go ahead and uh, grab all the images from this uh, graffiti directory. And I can highlight multiple images. Start my capture. If I wanted to throw in some notes, you know, uh, these were acquired by Officer Jones. I can enter notes. We keep a full audit history of all the images that are processed um, and their associated data. We'll go ahead and kick off the process. And you'll see as the images come in, it's automatically pulling the data out of the image and posting it into uh, our fields, which will eventually end up in SharePoint and in our map presentation performed by MapIt. So as, the, as these documents are coming in, I can analyze them. Once the import is done, I can close my batch. It's going to go through an indexing process in which we can validate the data as well. And in this particular example, we're actually use, utilizing a conversion module to convert the latitude and longitude into um, digital format so that we've then geocoded uh, the whole uh, data structure and it will be presented on the map um, you know, w with the correct latitude and longitude. You can also see within this interface, and this is the, the quality assurance interface I mentioned, I can come through if there's any changes I have to make, I can click into the field and make the changes. I can come down to this field, you can see that it's blank and I can say, you know what, this is, um, this is other. And I can arrow down to my other fields, I have full copy and paste capability. I can even set up drop down, so if this was a field where I wanted to link to a database that had a listing of all the different gang associations, I could do that and make it real easy to, to pick and enter data. 
So once I'm done, um, I can click my uh, close batch button and it's going to kick off the migration process. Now I've already migrated this a couple times in the SharePoint, so I'm not going to do that again. But what I will do is bring up SharePoint 2010 and the end result after we process with SciCapture is a, uh, a, a document library with the associated image and all the data, okay, including the latitude and, and longitude. Um, what I can then do once I have all the data in here, and if I wanted to, this is fully searchable. I can come in if I wanted to view my picture, I could view it through SharePoint. But um, in this example, I've I've actually created a custom page with the um, uh, Esri ArcGIS map web part. And what this is going to let me do is I can come in. We'll go ahead and edit this web part. And um, I'll bring up some uh, ribbon bar tools here within the Esri, uh, the ArcGIS component. And if I click on application, I have the ability to add content. So I want to go ahead and, um, and browse into my SharePoint. And I've pre-configured this, so we'll go ahead and, um, and pick that list that I just created where I imported all the data. And I'm going to add that layer to my map. Okay, um, let's go ahead to my layer and let's zoom in and you're going to see what happens is it puts a marker at all the locations for those graffiti shots and I can come in here and if I wanted to change my symbols and, and make them um, easier to view. In this example I'll go ahead and click on it and we'll make it these uh, these red dots. So once I grab those red dots, you can see I get a nice little representation. I can hover over any of the um, the items and actually see the uh, the gang name. Okay, I can also add some some really neat stuff built into the ArcGIS um, product here, where I can actually um, add heat mapping. And what heat mapping lets me do is it'll uh, look at the the clustering of the different map points and give me a, a real nice representation of uh, where the hot points are from an analysis perspective. So I have the ability to come in, um, I can move the map around, I can zoom in, I can zoom out, so if I wanted to come in here I can play around with my intensities to give me a little bit better idea and then when I zoom out I can look at my clustering and you can see this is Riverside, California. We've got a nice analysis and I can see where my hot points are for all the maps that have been plopped out. Now this is just a real basic overview of this web part, but I wanted to show you an end-to-end -end solution with um, the Ricoh camera, SciCapture for ingesting, extracting, and then posting the information into SharePoint, and then with the ArcGIS map web part we get a real nice mapping tool that lets us uh, view visually all our map data. So if you have any questions, you can contact um, your RICO rep or you can contact sales at SciGen.com and we'll get you information on the products presented here today. Thanks for your time.